Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about any of my other crime activities. I find to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost understand. cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they were all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Problems, you son of a bitch! Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I can't. Speak it English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and no, get back please. in line. No. Move. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. The other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terran Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you! We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. Let 
listen, freak boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. Leave me the fuck alone. They should let me out next summer. Lucky bastard. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Go bother somebody else. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Get the fuck away from me. One thousand eight hundred and seventy. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Six. Get out of my face. Eighteen hundred and seventy-six days. Hey, I, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point them out, will you? Yeah, yeah. Old guy plays chess all day. No chance to survive. You think you could teach me some of that shit, you guys? I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So did I. Could pay you back. Yeah. Uh. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? Guys, gonna break you, dead this off. fucking brain. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on, you fucking dead ass. You and your boyfriend Barbara are dead. <laughs> Get him. This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved a potato in mother's head. Oh, you eat skinny little faggots like you for breakfast! You eat faggots for breakfast? Kill him, O'Neal! Kick his ass, O'Neal! Stop this fucking brain! Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Break it Get out of here! Both of you should go in a hole! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. 
Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, dammit. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice one. Nice, kid. Nice. Give me two more. All right, one more. Shit, that had to hurt. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I yeah, take that bet. It. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Hey, how's it going? It How up. you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Come on. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Nice yeah, work in the it. ring, buddy. A little more of that and you'll be ready for a real fight. How's it going? I'm Vito. Chris, how can I help you? Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neill. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? I'm looking to go a few rounds. You interested? Buddy, I'm busy. Try Al. Over there. How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? You never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize hey, fighter back in the day. Damn good one, too. How you no doing? shit. Yeah, oh, you want to he used to fight really? my knuckle Sorry. matches before he went pro. Not I'm just glad okay. he organizes these fights. Sorry. Not that there's I'm anything else busy here, here, all right? And he must yeah, be making a it. small fortune on all the bets.
Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> His master will not be happy. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Lose the Guaylo with the Cernobo! Ah, yeah, this no happen if you use Tiger style. 